So being on Raven's Home is legit my first acting job ever. I've only been on reality television or hosted television. And so I'm really excited to be doing this with someone I admire like Raven. She's a comedic legend. And you know, from the feedback I'm getting, your boy's killing it. So there might be a new chapter of my career opening up right now. Let me tell you something. I have been watching Raven Simone since I was, we're not too far in age, but like since I was like 11, 12, 13. Raven um, and then Cheetah Girls, those were my shows. I still might know some of the Cheetah Girl dance moves, to be real with you. Um, so like in our scene, she has a vision and like the entire time, young me was geeking out because I'm like, Raven is having a vision about me. Raven is having a vision about me. So it, it's, it's like uh, my little me's dream is coming true right now. When I found out that Raven was not only starring in, but also directing the episode, I was really excited to see what she can do because we're in a time where Hollywood is waking up to realize that women are amazing and powerful and can do it all, things that we've already known. But to, so to see her go from the directing chair and like give me direction, the rest of the actors direction, and then literally pop into character, know all her lines, and be funny as AF, I am blown away. So Raven's direction to me while on set has been mind-blowing because again this is my first acting job and also this is comedic you know on queer eye i'm the one that always makes people cry i'm the i'm the bring the tears guy let's get deep and emotional my our johnny is the one that like has the quick one-liners and things and so for me i was really nervous of can i be funny can i deliver these lines and she was like telling me to calm down just to like be myself that it's going to come naturally and literally First of all, her tone and her voice is so easing and soothing that I was like, I can listen to you every day. I, I kind of want her to have a podcast that I can just like tune in or I'm gonna invite her on my podcast so that we can like just soothe people's souls. But everything she said to me literally allowed me just to feel calm and relaxed. My character's name is Miguel Harris and he's an interior designer. And I'm actually channeling a bit of Bobby, myself, and Jonathan Van Ness. Like, there's a mixture in between all three of us that I'm kind of bringing to this character. So, like, there's parts of my scenes where um, I have to be a little bit more heartfelt, that's me. There's parts where I'm really like, I need to figure out what to do with this space, and that's Bobby. And then there's parts when I'm giving that comedic timing, which is our Johnny. So, I'm bringing Queer Eye to Raven's home. Being an actor is something that I always was scared of, to be God honest. I told myself, constantly when I came to Hollywood. I could not act, I can't do it, you'll never be able to do this. And literally when this opportunity came up, I was like, Raven Simone is a comedic legend. There is no way I'm gonna pass this up. And I had to like literally queer eye myself and give myself a pep talk to feel like I could actually come here and act. I have tons of friends who are actors. You know, I was just, not to name drop, hanging with President Obama and Michael B. Jordan, and I'm talking to Michael B. Jordan about acting, and I'm just so blown away by his talent. And, you know, for me to now get here, and this is completely different what he does, all right, let's be real, that's a movie star. But it was like, oh, I've gotten my feet wet, and now this little duck is ready to swim some more and see what else could happen. You know, I don't wanna leave my Queer Eye family, don't get me wrong, I love Queer Eye, I love what I do there, but hey, you know, this might be the start of a beautiful relationship.